hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we got oh you moving oh we got a little friend it, i just bought a crested gecko y'all they got me feeling like i'm the goat they asking me for some pictures and i ain't even blow i'm on my way to the top like i can't be below they telling me that i'm crazy like i ain't even know hit him with a g33 and now he's seeing fun one me two okay. goons He's so little. He's really little. Y'all see him? He's so darn cute. So we're about to go ahead and do this video so I can go ahead and put him in it tank i turned my ac off and i actually turned my heat on for him until he gets in his sink but i'm about to show you guys exactly what i got so his stand doesn't come until next week but i'm gonna show you guys everything that i got so i got this enclosure from pet smart i got this from walmart the food from walmart um i got the bulb and stuff from walmart everything from walmart except for the coconut fiber bedding and the other bedding that i have but everything else i got from walmart because it was cheaper so i'll end up showing you guys everything that i have um but this is some of the pieces that i decided to choose and i did get some vines as well um so yeah we're about to go ahead and put this together i'll probably do a voiceover um, I don't know, but I think I'm gonna do this sitting down for the simple fact of I don't have nothing really sturdy to put it on. So yeah. Can y'all see or should I move y'all? I think y'all can see just about everything. So we're about to just go ahead and start putting things together. It's gonna be on the floor until my stand comes. So. So I did have to take these sticky things off that was on the paper. So that was really annoying, but Eventually they came off, but I, that was just aggravating to me. Okay, this is the enclosure. It's empty. It's decent sizing. So I'm going to start with some reptile bark premium. Of course, we don't need too much, but we'll put a little bit more. But we really don't need that much. I hope you guys can see. Now we're gonna put a little bit of coconut fiber bedding. And so what you do is you basically, you're just gonna open this up and mix it with some water and it should like dissolve or something. So we're gonna do that. Uh, we're only gonna get like a good little chunk cause we don't need much.
It didn't even break or nothing. Oh, there you go. It's breaking now. It's literally breaking. It's kind of weird. Well, this is what it looks like now. Straight dirt. So we're gonna put that. Lord, I'm gonna have to sweep. We're gonna sprinkle that in here. I'm gonna move this bowl so y'all can see a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna go wash my hands. This is what the bottom looks like. I mixed it all up. I'm not sticking my hands back in there because I just <laughs> clamped them because I'm about to go clean. Um, the other things that I got for the enclosure. I'm gonna add things as I go, but I kinda wanna see what he likes. So I got this from um, Walmart. It's like, it goes in an aquarium, so that's how I know it's safe for pets so it doesn't chip or anything like that. Um, I'm just going to set it a certain way because he likes to climb. I um, also got this from Walmart as well. A lot of things that I got from Walmart were at PetSmart as well, but they were just cheaper. Um, so I got this so he can climb up there as well if he wanted to. And then I also got these vines as well. So I'm about to go um, wash these with some hot water and just make sure that they're clean for him and then we are going to put them in the tank so now i'm just randomly placing things to see how exactly i would like it so y'all just gonna see me playing with it just a little bit i can't really tell you guys if you're watching this to make your enclosure or how you want to make your enclosure i can't really tell you guys how you should make it or which way is best or what you should not do or what you should do i'm still learning myself i'm just gonna see what um looks good first and then see how the crested gecko reacts to the enclosure and see what if he likes to climb if he likes the dirt if he likes to hide just to see exactly what he really likes to do and put more of that so he can hide if he wants to or climb if he want to so just do the enclosure based on your needs and your gecko needs and you should enjoy your enclosure. So yeah, I'm just sticking things everywhere. I ended up taking the vine apart because this vine from Walmart, you can take it apart and then you can um, put it back together how you want to. So I'm just taking it apart like out of this little clutter bunch and then I'm gonna end up putting it back together into like one large vine so it moves from one side to the other so the gecko could climb if he wants to so now i'm just let you guys watch me <laughs> arrange this enclosure
you see this hole right here so that's where we're gonna put the light i don't know how to keep this door open that's where we're gonna put the light so i'm just going to feed it through I already got the light, I already put the light bulb and everything in there. At least I think you're supposed to feed it through. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna just put it up here like this until I figure out how to, you know, set it up. Cause it looks like it might be too big. I might have to get a smaller one. He's in here. Y'all see him? He's in there just chilling. We're gonna go ahead and introduce him and hopefully you guys can see. Oh, he is cold. A little bit. He's, he's not really cold, but you can tell he's like, Go, buddy. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Oh, don't fall. Please don't fall. Oh my God. You got it? Okay. So let me um hook up the heat lamp and everything just to make sure he is okay. So now I got these thermometers and hydrometer from Walmart and I'm just going to stick them to each side of the enclosure just so they said just so they won't get the same around the same temperature. I'm getting like a range. They said not to on the package not to post not to stick them in the same area. So I'm making sure I do one on each side. Okay guys, so I'm back. I'm gonna show you guys the finishing product. Yes, I told you, I know y'all, some people are gonna be like, why is it on the floor, why is it on the floor? I'm gonna keep saying it. My stand is coming. I got a stand that is just gonna be in this area. Solely right here is gonna be for my um, reptile. And I am going to get eventually get a second one. Just, I just didn't wanna buy too many at one time. I want him to get used to it and then I'll get a female, so. Can y'all see it with the light on? Let it focus a little bit. So this is what it looked like. Um, so I'm gonna open it and tell you guys everything where I got everything from. Heat lamp from Walmart, probably around $16. The cage itself is from um, PetSmart, is around $134. The um, hydrometer and thermometer is a two-in-one pack. It is from Walmart, probably around $10. Don't get me to line. Um, so when I open this cage, I just press this button or just push it down and I can just open it and it opens like that way. And I can do that with both sides. Okay, so we're gonna get a little bit closer. So these vines are from Walmart around $6. I just started off with one when I was showing you guys when I first started but i ended up going to walmart to get a second one and the only reason why i wanted to go get a walmart again it was to get this spray bottle because you have to keep it kind of moist but not too moist um so yeah that's that i got one on each side and i wanted it to reach across so he can climb if he wants to so yeah and i got this from walmart as well this bark tree there goes my 
little baby right there I haven't named him yet so I don't know what I'm gonna name him I got the con coconut bedding and the like mulch stuff from PetSmart I got the food from Walmart that's just wa regular water I got this plant right here from Walmart as well most of my plants I got from Walmart because they're cheaper at Walmart um they're like the same thing they're the same material it's just different a different store yes you can get it from PetSmart but PetSmart had a lot of stuff that was like twenty dollars thirty dollars so I went and got a Walmart stuff um like I said it's the same material safe for pets so that's how it looks and he's just down there chilling so the food that I decided to get him would be the freeze dried crickets because I'm not feeding him live crickets I'm sorry I cannot do it and then I got crested gecko food like the soft food so I got these two then I'm gonna um, start doing research on different brands better brands and stuff like that so yeah that's what we have so far so yeah I hope you guys like the video um I can't really tell you guys much about him yet I want him to get used to me um get used to his new environment and stuff like that um so we'll come we'll come we're, we'll end up coming out with different and more videos about him sooner or later so yeah I hope you guys like the video I hope you guys like the video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe I'll be posting once a week if not more than once a week we're coming back to back to back to back to back to back to back with these videos so i hope you guys like in the content just like i like editing and recording them and putting them out for you y'all stay safe stay cautious he's hiding and i'll see you guys in my next one bye